Hello everyone, my name is Dimitri and I'm the developer of Infranodus, a visual AI text analysis tool. Let me show you how Infranodus works and take you through some of the main features of the tool so you can see how you can use it to analyze any text and to develop your own ideas. Normally, any AI tool can tell you what's inside the text, but how many can also show you what's missing? Infranodus does exactly that. It visualizes the main ideas as a knowledge graph highlighting the gaps between them. You can then use the built-in AI to bridge those gaps to generate new research questions and innovative ideas. Then you can feed these questions and gaps back to the built-in ChatGPT to generate interesting recommendations to develop this discourse further. Infranodus also provides diagnostics of the text structure, so it can tell whether a text is too biased on a certain idea or too dispersed. It will then recommend which ideas and gaps you can develop further to diversify if it's too biased or to connect the ideas better if the structure of the text is too loose. You can try this tool on infranodus.com or keep watching to learn how it works. To start using Infranodus, you can upload, import, copy and paste the text or use a live text editor. You can import Google Search or Google Scholar results, files, text documents, or your own notes, writings, and ideas. In our case, we will analyze a research paper on using meditation to treat addictive behaviors. This text will be visualized as a knowledge network graph, which you can use to get an overview of the text, discover the patterns of meaning circulation, and reveal the blind spots between different ideas. Various metrics from graph science will be applied to highlight the most important concepts, the clusters of topics, and gaps between them. The built-in GPT-4 AI tool will provide the names for those clusters. All these insights are shown in the analytics panel. The topic modeling section shows the main groups of ideas present within each cluster and their relative influence. The most influential notes section lists the main concepts so you can get a clear overview and a visual summary of what this text is about. You can also use the graph for that. For instance, in this case, we can see that the text is about drug reactivity, mindfulness training, meditation imaging and study, and brain structure. This gives us a pretty good overview of the main topics inside the text and helps us understand how to approach it and how to develop it further. You can click on some of these words and topics to see the context where they appear in the text itself and find the exact parts of the discourse that have the highest concentration of those terms. For instance, Clicking on amygdala, prefrontal, and cortex, we can see the exact part of the research paper talking about these terms and various behavioral patterns associated with these brain regions. If you switch to the advanced mode, you can also filter the results by sentiment, which can be especially useful if you're conducting survey analysis or analyzing open-ended questionnaires. Now that we know what's inside the text, let's see what is missing. The knowledge graph shows the gaps between different topics. These are the blind spots in the discourse. If you connect them, you will generate new ideas. For instance, in this case, we can see a gap between the prefrontal cortex and substance abuse clusters. It indicates that those two topics could be better connected. Once you select a gap, you can use the built-in AI to generate a research question. If you like the question, try to think of an answer and write down your ideas, or ask the built-in ChatGPT AI tool to respond. Reiterate and save your questions and ideas into the project notes for further research. This can be very useful for qualitative analysis and trans research. You can also query the text or a particular topic using the built-in GPT-4 ChatGPT modules. Simply ask a question and wait for a response. You can also use the graph itself for discovering those gaps in a text so that you can better understand the nuance. For instance, the words craving and mindfulness might not be used often in real life in the same context, but in this particular text, they are connected. Moreover, you can see in the relations panel, they connect directly, but also through the notions of brain and MBRP, which is what makes this research paper specific. On the other hand, the words cortex and neuroscience would be close to each other in most other discourses, but they're not so close to each other in this particular text, which means that there is a structural gap in this discourse, and that makes it special, but also creates an opportunity to develop this discourse further. If you click on those nodes, we can see the shortest path in this particular text between those concepts is through the notion of meditation. 
This is an insight about what makes this text stand out from the rest and also an opportunity to think of more ideas that could link those concepts together. For instance, finding more neuroscience research on prefrontal cortex that relates to other practices and therapeutic approaches. You can generate a summary of your text or you can select only a certain aspect, let's say MBRP and craving, and summarize what the document says only about these topics. Once you're done, you can hide the main ideas that you already understand from the graph to reveal the concepts that are underneath. This helps you get to the nuance and discover some non-obvious themes in the discourse. You can also identify a bias in the discourse and see if it's too focused on a specific idea and thus needs diversification, or on the other hand, if it's too dispersed and needs more focus. Infranodo's built-in ecological thinking module will guide you through this process. You can either use the graph itself to develop the discourse or use the built-in AI to generate ideas and research questions that will help you restructure it and make sure that you're not too focused on one idea and also not too dispersed. This can be really useful for thinkers, writers and researchers. Using Infernodus, you can identify the best discourse entrance points. These are the concepts that have the highest influence per frequency of use. Focusing on those concepts will provide the easiest entry into this text, which is especially useful if you're looking to embed your ideas into a bigger discourse. To give you a better idea of how text network representation in Infranodus works, think of a text as a social network. John Firth famously said, you shall know a word by the company it keeps. It's a similar principle here. The words that occur together in a text will be closer to each other in the knowledge graph, belong to the same communities and have the same color. The words that connect different clusters will have higher influence and are shown bigger on the graph. These are not necessarily the most frequently mentioned words, although it correlates, but rather the ones that appear often at the junctions of meaning. This is a principle that is similar to vector embeddings used in most AI language models, but it's not the same, because the layout of words in the knowledge graph is not based on the language and semantics in general, but on the co-occurrences in a particular set of texts you're analyzing within Fernodus. As a result, you can see the specifics of a certain text and the patterns contained within, which then makes it possible for you to use the AI models to bridge ideas where there are gaps and to create gaps where ideas are too close to each other. If you're interested to learn more about how it works, I encourage you to try it out on your own data and ideas on infranodus.com. And let me know if you have any questions. I will be happy to help. Thank you.